Winnebago walk around. Just start off. This is the key for most of the compartments, except for the one on the generator. Oh. Start at the front. There's three batteries in there. The one on the left is the battery for the motor, and there's two on the right, and those are the coach batteries. They run on the 12 volts inside. Um, the coach batteries are a couple years old. The motor batteries, um, not even a year old quite yet. I'm going to take a look at the generator. Uh, this compartment, I changed the door on when we first bought it, and so it does have a key for that latch. Um, otherwise, you just turn this one to open it up. And there's the generator, owning 4K, runs good. There is a way, there is a button to start it right there, um, but you can also start it from inside the coach. This didn't run when I bought it, and I got it going. I've done a lot of work to that little generator. Um, then we have the water heater. Um, this was replaced by the, the guy that I bought it from, so it's a pretty new uh, water heater. And right now you can see that I've got the drain plug out. It's sitting right there. I've got the drain plug out because it's winterized. Two exterior plugs. Keep moving our way back. This is the only external storage compartment. It's one thing I really don't like about this Winnebago is not much outside storage. Uh, but inside here is a tote that's got some oil for the generator, um, leveling blocks, um, and a jack, and a couple uh, scissor jacks for leveling as well. Go around the back, you can see on the bumper. It's got a regular two and a half inch hitch receiver. Um, it's wired up for trailer lights. Uh, these are just additional blocks for leveling. And on this side, you got your dump, both for the black water and gray water. This used to have a door, this is your main gas fill, and it used to have a door over it, but the door was broke, so I took the door off and got one of these locking caps, and the key for it's on the chain. Inside here is your dump hose. And then this is the hookup for, um, if you have city water, you can hook up to it, otherwise... Um, open this door up and you fill up the water tank. I think it's a 30, 20, I have no idea how big it is, but it holds plenty of water. This is the exhaust for the heater, and back there is the back of the fridge, so if the fridge needs work done. Then this compartment has... No, they stay up. Inside there is a big long cord that you'd pull out to plug into for uh, shore power. Or um, right now it's plugged into the box. If you're running the coach off the generator, you got to plug it into that box. Um, some of them have automatic switchers. This one does not. So if you uh, run the generator, you got to plug the big plug into that box. Um, also, you'll see a smaller plug there so you can adapt. It's got a big 30 amp plug. Um, you can adapt it to plug it into a regular 110 extension cord. All the latches could be replaced. Uh, under here is the propane tank. I left it on. I'll shut it right now. Um, since I've owned it, I've dropped the tank and I uh, cleaned it up and sprayed it with some rubberized undercoating. Um, you can tell that it's starting to get worn a little bit. Um, this is the regulator and uh, that's about two years old um, and the tank is practically full right now. It's a big tank and I hardly really don't use that much. 
Um, I won't open it up, but in this compartment it's the spare tire. No, if you got to pop the hood, pull that daily, that pops the hood. Really not a whole lot you can get at. Really not a whole lot of maintenance that can be done from here. If you got to work on the motor, there's four bolts to remove the doghouse. You can see the intake back there, but there's the oil fill, the dipstick, um, fill the radiator right there. Here's the recovery tank. That's only a few years old. I replaced that because one that was on there was cracked. Um, I replaced all the headlights. All but all, all but one marker light works. Let's take a look. Uh, when we first purchased this, this box was just a box. Really didn't have a purpose, so I pried the top off and put on some hinges and a latch. And that's a toolbox. There's a hose in there. There's some extra RV antifreeze. Captain's chair, it spins. This is how you start the generator from inside the coach. You can see the generator has 243 hours on it. Um, this, if you were to undo these latches, this bed, there's a bed that does come down, but you probably only want a child sleeping on that bed because it's pretty small. Um, this unit is the dog house. There's four bolts you remove and that comes off and then you have full access to the motor. It's actually kind of nice to work on because there is lots of space. Uh, there's curtains that you shut when you're, can't, when you're parked um, to keep the sun coming in so bad from the windshield. This is a futon. Um, it does spring out into another bed. Uh, and underneath it, there's two poles and two tables, because right here you can see these two plugs come out. And so you put, there's a plug here, another one under that box. Those plugs come out, and you can set up tables. I've replaced all these lights, just resealed the AC. AC works good. Over the summer, um, when the AC seal was bad and I didn't realize it, water dripped in, so I've, I just replaced this floor. I've never even camped with it with this new floor in. It's pretty slick. Um, I've replaced the faucet, um, the fridge is newer, it's not original and it works real good, runs off of both LP and 110, uh, AC only runs off of 110, nice big storage cabinet here, a couple drawers, more parts in there. Thermostat for the heater runs off LP. Oven works and the stovetop works. Someone made this extra little topper to put over the stove to have a little more counter space. Here's master control, power to the panel, tell you how full the holding tanks are. How full the water tank is and how much LP it has. I guess I'm sort of slanted, but there's probably three quarters of LP in there. Um, turn this switch on to turn the water pump on. Turn this switch on to turn the water heater on, and it'll. Uh, it's got an electric striker, and it'll try and strike to get the burner going three times before it'll give up, and then you got to turn it off and turn it back on. Um, some other controls for the hood here. Kitchen cabinets. Shower, shower works good. Right now I've got it disconnected from the thing for because it's winterized. Pot works good. Oh yeah, there's random light switches here and there. Another cabinet. That mirror opens up. And then the bed. Lots of overhead storage back here. Two 
overhead vents that you can open up. 